Dan Graziano, ESPN's uh, national football NFL analyst, um, on ESPN's Unsportsmanlike, was asked, which, which is more likely, the Browns in the Super Bowl or the Browns picking in the top 10 in the NFL draft? Oh, gosh. Um, geez. Well, well, the Browns' history uh, is certainly a lot more of the latter than the former. <laughs> Uh, they've never been in a Super Bowl, but I, I think it's the former. I, like I, I think they're good enough to be that level of team. I, I, I'd be surprised if they were bad enough to have a top ten pick in next year's draft. So I, I got to go with the former, even though you know putting the Browns in the Super Bowl falls into the bold prediction category. But I mean, good roster. Their head coach is now a two-time coach of the year, which is a, a relatively exclusive club in NFL history. Uh, they're they're well run. They're well built. They just need the quarterback to play like some facsimile of what they're paying him to be. And Brad, we tend to forget. You know, the Browns haven't won the. I mean, let's let's be honest. Haven't won their division since 1989. So I I could see where the 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 national perspective is. You know, until you, you win your division, then you start thinking about Super Bowl. So I get it. But I would, be, I would be much more surprised if the Browns are picking in the top 10 than if they're in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, that's not, that doesn't even seem like a realistic question. I, I, f- I feel like that would be uh, – that is very, very far-fetched to, to feel like they could fall off with this level of talent, right? Especially after what we saw them do, you know, uh, in their – as far in their depth as you can ask a team to go and still find a way to win. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, can they, you know, it, it is about Watson, right? Um, and, you know, he says, it's interesting how he says, you know, some facsimile of what they, you know, uh, tried to, to purchase with, you know, a level of play they expect from Watson. And, and that's kind of like where, where I'm at too. Like you just need him to play like a top 15 guy. And I feel like they would do really well in the, um, regular season and challenge for uh, the the t- divisional title, right? Like, I, I think you just need that. Now, if we're talking about going and winning a Super Bowl, you're going to need better than that, right? You need special for that. But um, that's all about getting hot at the right time. And, you know, I kind of pointed this out the other day, Dave, and if you really think about it, you know, I'm not trying to make all excuses possible for Watson, right? But, like, he hasn't been on the field for any stretch of games to, to get it right. Like we've seen him start to get it and then he gets hurt or, you know, he misses a game, you know, he needs to play like a stretch of like nine, 10 games. Yep. And I feel like we'll see him figure it out and we'll start to see that player reemerge. Yeah. Uh, again, eight and four in the games he started, you take that and, and, he has been hurt, and he can't control that. So yeah. I get it, but I also understand the flip side of it is, you know, it's been three years now, and we haven't yeah. really seen um, a consistent stretch of football yet. 